Envision human figures living in an underground cave. Here they have been from their childhood and have their legs and necks chained so that they cannot move and can only This is Plato's allegory of cave in which prisoners chained from birth in an underground chamber interpret the shadow they see on the wall is the whole of reality. Some articles mentioned in that Plato's cave is very familiar to the modern cinema. With the development of new technologies, I think it is more like VR experience. We restricted our eyes in our dark box and believe all the things showed in that. This inspired my interactive sleep motion VR project, Escape Game. Escape game is more like an experiment rather than a game. The player can use the VR device Leap Motion to interact with the button, but they do not know the place they should escape to. If the player follows the text on the television, the walls of the room will disappear one by one. And the player will finally be abandoned in a cave with the shadow of the television on the wall. When they try to escape from the room again, they will find out if they look through their left hand, the room is the cave. At the same time, the content of the television will change to a short animation, guiding the players how to open the door of the room. This is also a simple practice of utilizing new technologies such as leap motion to create different storylines for cinematic VR. However, it is still the wrong answer. I do everything right, but why can't I go out? When we stop to doubt the realities we get from the virtual world and follow everything that new media says, it seems that we are just like the prisoners in Plato's allegory. The things on the screen are just like the shadows of paper cards, but we completely believe them to be the reality. The answer to this game is simple, press the button that is not mentioned by the television. The players will go out like one of the prisoners in Plato's allegory. They will see the real tree, they will feel the real sunshine, and play with the beautiful flower. But all of these still happen in a virtual reality device, so why not take off the goggle and go outside to learn the real world? <laughs>